Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and we are here once again with Twilight and Eclipse, our breeding pair of wolves who are starting, oh here we go, who are starting their new pack and we're here at our den. So we are trying to find the den so that Twilight, our mate, can have her puppies and we're going to raise them and it's going to be so exciting and we've decided we're going to try this den out. This seems like it's going to be an okay den. This is down here at the Bison Peak cutoff. We should be able to see a bunch of the elk right over here the sandbar cross crossing for getting across the river is nearby so hopefully we can make it over to the hunting grounds this is going to be pretty interesting this is going to be our very first litter ever with twilight and eclipse so this is going to be pretty fun i'm not sure how it's going to go but it's time to turn around so let's just trot over here you know maybe we really should well you know what mm, i want to have the puppies like right now but really quickly let's go ahead and just explore around a little bit. Where's the wind pointing from? Oh, here we go. Elk, elk, this bodes well. Oh, good. I just wanna make sure we can find where the elk are hiding. All right, there they are. Oh my gosh. Yes, oh, this is perfect. Okay, so if the elk are nearby, I see a bull elk, I see all the cows. So that means we'll be able to hunt really closely to home. There's our special tree for where home would be. So let's go over and I think we're gonna try out this den. So we're gonna try out the peak den, the bison peak den. And that's gonna be our very first den for raising our puppies. So let's run on up and see what we can do. Oh man, Twilight, you have the best markings. All right, so here we are. This is it. We're gonna make this our den and go ahead and have our first puppies, you guys. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. All right. This is gonna be it. This is our den. All right, mission completed. Congratulations, you chose a den to raise your pups. You're ready to continue your quest. You may want to save your game now, which we're gonna do. Oh, and here we go. Oh, it's time again. I totally forgot about this. It is time to mark our territory. Your pups will call this den home for the first two months of their life, but your pack's home must extend far beyond the den itself. While you can wander throughout Sloth Creek Valley, your territory is the area you must actively defend from other wolves. This territory Territory should provide access to nearby elk herds and form a buffer zone between your den and rival wolf packs. Scent is the most powerful sign of your presence, so urinating throughout the territory will tell other wolves to stay away, howling to announce to all within earshot that this place belongs to you. You must howl completely for it to mark your territory. Do not cut it short. Oh, I totally forgot about this. Okay, so it is time. There you go, Eclipse. We're going to try. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. If we, I think, I think our mate is like helping us, but this is gonna take a little while. We have to pee on all the things. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be a little bit. It is gonna be a little bit, but that's because we're marking this place for the very first time. So I guess that makes some sense. Oh my gosh, is she really, oh, that's our territory marker. I was like, is she really hungry? Nope. So in the top left, what you're seeing up there is gonna be the territory marker. And then let's see, can we howl? Is that gonna help us out? Oh, there we go. Oh, I love that mournful cry. I love it. Where, where's Twilight? Twilight? Huh. We'll have to look for her in just a second. Yep, peeing on all the things. Maybe she's peeing on all the things in another spot. I bet that's what she's doing. But this is actually how a lot of animals will mark their territory, including sloths, just in case you guys didn't know. And a lot of animals like rhinoceros, sloths again, um, really tons and tons of them, transmit a lot of information about themselves, about their health, if they're in breeding quality, if they are looking for a mate, what like their status is in life through urinating on things. And that sounds really weird, but if you think about it, it's a very effective way for animals to communicate with each other. You're gonna leave scents no matter what you do, so why not alter the scents that you leave to tell as much information as possible? And so that's why uh, for example, and it sends information to more than just your own species. Because if, say, the deer smelled the wolf scents, do you think the deer are going to stick around here? No way, they're going to take off. They're going to be like, whoa, this is wolf territory. I don't want to be here. I totally forgot about how we have to pee on all the things. Are you helping? Are you helping? She's helping! I'm so proud of her, Twilight. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for peeing on all the things. <laughs> I totally forgot about this. Oh, established in our territory. This is my tree. Thank you very much. This is this is also this is gonna be my spot where my puppies are gonna play. This is their front yard. 
This is where they're gonna like chew on elk for the first time. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And you guys have given me so many names for the puppies. There's well over a hundred names. There's no way we're going to be able to use all of those names in the first few litters. But if you guys want, like I said, we will follow Twilight and Eclipse and we will see how many litters of puppies they can have. At least three, just like with Luna and her Luna Moon pack. And then we can carry on the legacy. If you guys are interested, you gotta let me know. And we'll carry on the legacy continually. Oh my goodness, we're still peeing on all the things. With new generations. So let me know if you're interested in that. Let me know if you love that. Because really, being able to spend our days as wolves roaming through Yellowstone, I think is a really, not only fun thing to do, but a very important reminder of how important these apex predators are and the way everything kind of connects to each other. Oh, here we go. <gasps> Mission complete! Congratulations! You have successfully established your territory. Because you marked and patrolled the perimeter, stranger wolves are less likely to come into your territory and interfere with your hunting and pup rearing. You may want to save your game now. <gasps> you guys, look! They're here! We've got pups! Oh my gosh! And it actually picks if it's going to be boys or girls for you now! This is so exciting! Alright, so we have got pups. With a territory now established, your mate and you are ready you and your mate are ready to start your family. After nine weeks of gestation, which means that that's how long the female is going to be pregnant, four healthy whoop pups are born in the den. Blind and deaf, they weigh just one pound each. These pups must remain in the den for several weeks, eating, sleeping, and growing, gaining about a pound a week. At two weeks, their eyes open. At three weeks, they first emerge from the den into the sunlight. Your pup's coat colors are inherited from their parents and ancestors. If you have enough experience points, you can name them. You can change the names later on in the pack stats. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have three boys. I didn't know we would have like boys and girls and they would tell us specifically what it was. So we have three little boys. This is very exciting. And I'm looking down at the names that we have picked out. So we're going to have Nightlight. That's going to be one of the little boys. And remember, the random generator picked all these names. There's hundreds of names. So don't freak out, guys. If we don't get your name in this litter very well, we could get it in the next. So keep going. And then let's see. Well, we also have... Ooh, goodness. I'm going to need to pick more boy names. Well, let's go with Atlas. Now, Atlas is a name we've used in the past, but we're going to use it again now because it fits very well. And then we have a little girl, and this is actually going to be Celestia. Celestial. So there we go. Celestial or Celestia. Those were both names that I'm sure most of you know where those names come from. You can shout out in the comments if you know where that name comes from right now. But I thought it was appropriate. And then we've also got Solar. So there we go, kind of like an, a bit of a nod to his grandpa, Sol. And there's so many other names that we can pick from that we will use in future litters. But right now we have Nightlight, Atlas, Celestial, and Sol. So let's go. <gasps> This is so exciting! Train your pups. Now eight weeks of age, your pups are too big for the den. As they spend their days playing outdoors, you must keep them from wandering too far. By picking up and bringing stray pups back to the den, you will increase the affinity or closeness of your pack, and your pups will know to stay closer to home. Pups, pups mostly eat regurgitated food regurgitated by you and your mate. Soon they will be weaned, depending on you for depending on you to bring them food. You must also protect them from predators such as grizzly bears who may see a wolf pup as an easy meal. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wolf pups are almost always hungry. And while you're trying to feed them, predators will come looking for a furry little snack. How hard do you want this to be? All right. So we were on pretty easy when we were learning everything when it came to being a wolf. But I think that it's only fair to go at least up to challenging. So this litter, we're going to go with challenging. It's been a pretty easy winter. It's been a pretty fruitful autumn before that and a summer when we got to meet our mate. So I'm going to say that right now times are challenging for our wolves, but not like not harder than that. But in the future, who knows? Yellowstone might go through some hard times and future litters might have to take the bring it on level. So we'll have to see what happens but we'll start it challenging for now oh my gosh they're here they're all oh my goodness gracious look at them oh we can pick them up and put them down solar hi nightlight you all look like your mom oh this is awesome so all of our pups basically look like their mom if you ask me celestial where are you going oh she looks kind of like us 
My gosh. Oh, look at him play. Look at him play. That's adorable. Atlas, come here. I think Twilight's off getting food for them. So we're just going to focus on keeping everybody together. Yeah, are you trying to wander off? Well, we're going to build up your affinity. So you guys will all stay here. I know. Hi. Oh, look at him. <gasps> look, we can play with him. Oh, my gosh. Hungry mouths. Your pups are getting hungry. Find food and eat extra so you can return and feed them. Mark your territory along the way so stranger wolves don't intrude. Your pups will be safe from predators while you are away on the hunt or anytime you are more than 50 meters away from the den. Your mate will help as well. All right. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, we can play with them. That's so cute. That is so cute. All right. Well, we're going to mark we're going to mark a little territory. Stay here. All right. Twilight's back. Stay with mom. All right, and we're gonna run off. We're gonna pee over here too, because this is some of our territory as well. And over here, look at this. So the time has passed, the weeks have gone by, and we are able, oh, there's the elk herd. All right, so we're gonna have to start bringing down the elk again on our own. Let's see if we can, oh, do you hear the frogs? Oh, that's so awesome. Let's see if we can weed out a female, but we have our puppies, you guys. All right, let's sneak up a little bit. Oh, we're downwind. Dang it. They're going to smell us at this rate. I think they might have already... They might already be suspicious. Oh, she's she's the one we want. She's already kind of wounded. We want to kind of isolate her. Oh, there she goes. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can chase her towards our home. That would be ideal. Alright, there you go. That's right, sweetie. Nope, that's not where we want you to go. Turn. 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 Not too far, not too far, not too far. Too much turn, too much turn. Come on. All right, we're gonna wait. We're gonna try to pace her out because I want her to go a little bit closer to where our pups are. All right, chase her, chase her, chase her. Twilight! Twilight, oh, that's so cool. Twilight's following us, except I'm worried about the pups now. Come on, grab a hold, grab a hold. Don't let go. Go, Twilight, go! Twilight, get her! Get her, Twilight! We need to bring that food home for the puppies, and we need to move quickly before the predators come. Man, Twilight really tends to chase them, like, in a very specific manner. I think we're gonna have to just wait right here. Yep, Eclipse. Oh my gosh, Twilight. Twilight, why? <laughs> She always tends to chase them into the like depths of forever. Twilight, this isn't worth it now. Twilight's taking her on on her own. Twilight, for crying out loud, woman. You're going to get killed if you keep this up. You need to stop this nonsense. Oh, dear. Well, never mind. Twilight's fine. <laughs> All right, but the puppies are super hungry. So what we do is... Oh, my gosh. <gasps> already, already, there's fire. There's fire and lightning. That's so exciting. Well, let's go ahead. We're going to eat off this elk carcass. We're going to have to avoid that fire. All right. want to make sure we're completely full. There we go. And we're going to work towards where our family is. So Twilight should be okay, I hope. I hope she eats. Didn't you want to eat anything, Twilight, sweetie? Okay. Well, we'll check on her later. She's a very good mate, I think. And all of the puppies look like her. They really take after their mother. All right, so let's go back and feed our pups. I can't believe we finally have the little ones. All right, we need... Are we in territory range again? We are! All right, we gotta, we gotta start peeing on everything. It's very important. So the other wolves know to stay away. And we need to establish our territory and be super firm about its boundaries now more than ever. Because... There we go. We don't want them to come and eat our babies. All right, so speaking of our babies... Hey, guys! All right. Oh! That wasn't our tree, was it? Oh my. Well, that's a little bit too exciting. How do I feed you, huh? I need to feed. There we go. Oh, you mean it's that easy now? No way. Oh, that's so much easier. All right. So now you can just come over and you can just click on feed. That is so much easier than before. Oh, controls. I love you. So what do you guys think about how everyone looks kind of like... Twilight and like I, I think maybe Celestial Celestial all oh, the lightning everywhere I think she's the only one that tends to look a little bit more like us, but everybody else tends to look like their mom Solar looks a little bit like us. I guess they look like a good mix of the two. All right, and let's give them all a little howl Oh my gosh, That's 
that's adorable. I want to just lay down with my puppies for a second. Look at all of them. Look at all my babies. Look at my cute little babies and the rainstorm. But all right, guys, so we have our puppies. And now the job is to get them well fed and get them to the summer hunting ground and keep them from running away. So let's go ahead and I'm going to watch over them while this rainstorm is here. Then we are going to run off. We are going to fill ourselves up with more elk carcass. And we are going to come back, feed them up, and try to get them safely to the summer hunting ground as the season goes on. And hopefully they won't get struck by lightning. All right, but as the season goes on, we'll have to bring them over to the summer hunting ground and take good care of them. Here comes mom. All right, I'm going to mark our territory, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.